Now, going over to the political part of the podcast, you have Vivek on the mainstream media retweet by Elon going viral, as youth might say. Now, Elon Musk originally replied to this a couple days ago. Vivek originally spoke, or rather he tweeted or posted, perhaps nostalgic, but I prefer the term tweet, but that's just me. So Vivek said, quote, what the MSM calls a conspiracy theory is often nothing more than an amalgam, amalgam of incentives hiding in plain sight. Once you see that, the rest becomes pretty obvious, unquote. And Elon responded, saying, exactly. That got that one word from Elon, so simple yet so powerful, got 12.7 million views and 75,000 likes. Or as youth might say, it went extraordinarily viral. Though, now that I think about it, I would hope they have some, there should probably be a new term for that. I'll have to check the Urban Dictionary. Truth be told, I think they used that when I was a youth back in the day. But nevertheless, it went viral to say the least. Now, of course, going down the comments, interestingly enough, let me see here. Overwhelming positive, but you do have, who is this guy? Let's see. Luke Zaliski? Let's see here. Who... Again, if you look at his politics, he's very much, as, you, as some might say, the leftist. He's very much left of the political aisle. And he's very active on anyone, middle or right, on X Twitter. Now, one of his first statements that got the most amount of likes, he says, quote, X is the media. It's anonymous, unverified. No one is responsible for the accuracy. Nothing is real. No one cares. It's click for Xbox. Pure propaganda reigns. Repeating Elon's opinions and worldview is rewarded. The truth is being buried by bullshit. The vetted truth is dying, quote. Which... It's hilarious. He says, no, you know, nothing is real. No one is verified. And yet he pays for a verified profile. So he, he's paying Elon. It's no longer $7 a month. I think it increased it, but he's playing for a blue check mark, which is a verified profile, which granted it's been a couple months since I actually upgraded my personal and podcast and business profiles on X Twitter to get the verification. But I'm pretty sure that entails using an ID, which is hilarious. And a little sad that there's more, scrutiny for a social media app than voting in some areas but nevertheless luke did get 118 likes and i mean he says it's not vetted but there are also a lot of the user i forget what it's called the, not the user claim but there are corrections on x twitter all the time i forget the actual vernacular that they use in the blurb below the actual post i forget they call it a correction but yeah it's one of those things where I, there is some pushback on x twitter one of the things i love about twitter these days is the we call it the Twitter spaces or the X spaces where ideally, you know, echo rooms or echo chambers can be fun for a very short period of time. Truth be told, I think the most fun and most stimulating intellect is actually when you have multiple sides of all politics, not beliefs, to kind of debate the ideals and see what what's the best idea and does it brew to the surface. And those are pretty cordial and interesting and most people are pretty polite. Now, obviously you have your outliers, but... It's like I've been trying to do more and more just to kind of seek out information and learn new things and share my three cents. Granted, it's used to be two cents, but four year hyperinflation, it's gotta be three cents. Now, going to other of the top comments, responses to Elon, you have someone by the name of John's Memes who, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say A plus for marketing, but because I can't tell out what his, his profile picture, picture is not in fact of a meme, but he did respond in a meme. So I'll say B plus for marketing, Mr. John's Memes. Now, he says, quote, I think we are right We are right more than the MSM, which stands for the mainstream media, which is also hilariously, it was the name of, what was it the internet I used as a child? MSN browser, was that Microsoft? It was light years ago or so it seems. And he responded with a meme, or sorry. Yeah, it was a meme. And he has all these things where it says, who is right, journalists versus conspiracy theories. And there's check marks besides all these. So he has Hunter's laptop, vaccines harmful, planned, planned demic, lockdown, ivermectin works, HCQ works, useless max, useless face mask, Twitter censorship, Epstein Island, Ukraine biolabs, child trafficking, Russiagate, fake, steel dossier. And his response got 335 likes. Joss Beans also responded saying experts and he get another meme, so he's on brand. And it's anytime I hear about the mainstream media talking about experts, this is how I view them. And it is a, what is it? The Muppet named, named Beaker? But he was not in fact a actual coming alive scientific beaker he was shaped like a beaker but he was a I don't know, he's not a humanoid muppet whatever they call those things and that get, did get 148 likes sassafras 84 says quote conspiracy theories are more like conspiracy realist 
Usually they are a prelude to what is happening. I'm glad people are starting to wake up and see the truth. Amazon is nothing but propaganda bought and paid for. And she also responded with a, not a gif, but a, a picture of Trump in the Texas standby. Shit is going to, is about to get real, unquote. They got 941 likes. Let's see, Dave Benner, nemesis of neocons, says, quote, the most destructive conspiracy theory is that the government has their best interests at mind, unquote. They got 484 likes. Let's see here. Uh, Tajish Khan, official, says, quote, thanks, boss. And a picture of Elon Musk with a quote from Elon. He says, quote, 43, 44 billion was not the cost of Twitter. It was the cost of restoring free speech. I'm quoting 76 likes. It looks like he did a couple clips of Elon speaking. Those gave me between 50 and 60 likes. So we do have, it seems like we had that. We had Luke being the contrarian in the beginning or, you know, having the statement of going against Elon and Vivek. But overall, <coughs> excuse me. Look at the responses. I mean, overwhelming support for Vivek as well as Elon. And I think a lot of people can't help but see all the discrepancies between what the mainstream media says is real. And then a couple months, a couple years later, it turns out, oh yeah, that, that was false all along. So I just want to say, apologies. The number of people tuning into the mainstream media is decreasing exponentially. And thankfully, increasingly, people are turning to alternative media, which is refreshing to get some new opinions and actually, you know, get some actual facts out there. I would also argue it's a lot more actually factually accurate than a lot of the other sources. So it'll be interesting to see at the end of the day how many of those traditional media companies, you know, stay around while a lot of them are, you know, trimming the fat from their companies more and more, decreasing the headcount. And at the end of the day, how many will survive and how many people really tune in. But as I always say, time shall tell. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. So click that number, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment, a thumbs up or a thumbs down is a great way to give me a little additional insight as well as some tips on how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight. 